Hey guys, it's Elise and welcome back to My Cupcake Addiction. A little while ago, I made some strawberry shortcake ice cream sandwiches on Home and Family on the Hallmark channel. And those of you guys that saw it have been requesting that I post the whole recipe here on the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make no-bake strawberry shortcake ice cream sandwiches. The best thing about this recipe, you can change it up so easily. Chocolate mint chip, no problem. Plain vanilla, absolutely. Let's get started. The things that you're going to need, today I'm using strawberries, I've got a half a can of condensed milk and I've got two and a half cups or 600 mils of heavy or whipping cream. I've also got a little bit of vanilla essence, I've got a circle cutter and I'm going to use some, we didn't have any white Oreos here so I'm just using some white sandwich cookies and I've scraped the cream out so I've just kind of got both halves of the naked cookie. As a variation, you could substitute your vanilla with a bit of peppermint, add a touch of green food colouring. Pop in some little miniature chocolate chips and sandwich these between a chocolate Oreo for a delicious mint chip addition. Today, it's all about the strawberry shortcake. Let's get into it. So to start off with, we're making a very simple vanilla no churn ice cream. So we don't have a churner, but you do need an electric mixer here because we're going to beat the cream and the cream's going to be what gives the air to our ice cream before we freeze it. Kind of a cheats ice cream. This actually freezes up a little firmer than a regular ice cream, so it's perfect for ice cream sandwiches. In goes our vanilla. And like I said, for a chocolate mint option, you'd leave the vanilla out and add peppermint essence instead. I'm going to whip this now to soft peaks using my electric mixer. All right, I'm happy that my cream and condensed milk mixture is semi-whipped and you can see there, it's holding its own weight but it's still falling off the beaters. You definitely do not want to over whip at this point. You may want to lick your beaters, but you don't want to over whip. So I'm gonna put half of my mixture now straight into a tray. I'm not gonna line it, just to freeze a safe tray. And the size of your tray is going to determine how thick your ice cream sandwiches are. So if you want them to be really thick and a lot of ice cream in between your cookies, you could go with a slightly smaller tray than the one that I'm using. Otherwise, I want mine quite thin so that I can eat more of them. So this is the size I've gone with today. It's about a 9 by 11. Now even as I'm putting my spatula along that ice cream base, that's actually continuing to whip the cream. So this is why you definitely don't want to over whip it at that early stage. Because I know we're going to like move it around a little bit, we definitely don't want to risk splitting our cream and having it go chunky. I'm going to lay my strawberries all over and I'm going to go to trouble to try and not really have many gaps of ice cream poking through because this is strawberry shortcake and when I cut these, I want to be able to see the line of strawberries in between the two layers of ice cream for each sandwich. Once all of your strawberries are in place, I'm just grabbing any of my little strawberry bits and pieces and just going through and covering up any gaps. And then I'm going to take the last of my mixture and I'm going to pour the whole lot over the top pretty evenly. I kind of want to distribute it pretty evenly so that I'm not disturbing my strawberries too much when I spread it all out. This cream and condensed milk mixture smells phenomenal. Now gently I'm just going to spread out my rest of my ice cream mixture on top of my thick line of strawberries. And then we level it off, give it a couple of good taps on the bench so that all of my ice cream sandwiches will be the same size. You want to cover that one in plastic wrap because it needs to freeze for a minimum of six hours. Overnight's better, but a minimum of six hours. And whenever anything like this goes into the freezer, if it's not covered, it can tend to pick up the smells and the tastes of some of the other things that are in the freezer and it takes away from the deliciousness. I'm going to pop that one into a freezer and I'm pretty sure I've got a quick switch that I made earlier this morning that's already frozen. Ping, the magic of YouTube. This is the one that I made earlier today. You can see I've covered it nicely with some plastic wrap. That is really, really nice and firmly and very solidly set, which is exactly what we want for an ice cream sandwich. Because I was telling you all about that chocolate mint variation and I thought it would be mean for me not to show you what it looks like, I also made a batch of that, mainly because I really like chocolate mint and I kind of feel like making some for myself. But I digress. Let's grab our cookies. And we're going to take our cutter. Now, the ice cream's not going to be too hard to cut through, but those strawberries are going to be really frozen. So they're going to be really tough to cut through. You'll need to really put your muscles into this one. Down you go. Pushing all the way down. And then lifting back out. And out comes our beautiful little core of ice cream. Down goes one of my cookies. Look at that gorgeous line of strawberries 
And then on goes my top cookie. He looks adorable. With these guys, they're gonna take a second to stick because that ice cream almost needs to melt just a fraction so that the cookies stick. So just let them sit for about 30 seconds to a minute, then put them into an airtight container and store them in the freezer until you're ready to eat them. So out of that recipe, you should get 24 of your finished strawberry shortcake no-bake ice cream sandwiches. These are perfect for the changing of the seasons. They're so fresh and so light, and it's like a favorite dessert, but then kind of rethought a little bit. Our little chocolate mint ones, one of my husband's personal favorites, and I'm definitely gonna be getting into, I, don't know, I feel like strawberry first and then mint, or vice versa, I'm not sure. I hope you guys have loved today's super easy no-bake strawberry shortcake and mint slice ice cream sandwich video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do for two new videos every week. And as always, thanks very much for watching.